Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Dr. Carlo Jett, board certified emergency physician and we've been doing a radiographic interpretation series working our way through the chest x-ray. In the last video we talked about the lateral radiograph, the lateral view of the chest x-ray and this is a special x-ray. This is called the portable or AP portable chest and AP chest that means it, the, the x-rays hit the anterior portion of the chest before the casket is on the back side of the patient. And we're gonna talk about obviously the advantages the patient doesn't need to be moved to a radiology department. So if they're unstable or they're having an active breathing treatment or they have too many wires on them or something, then you don't have to be like unhooking them and taking them somewhere to bring them back to get an x-ray. But the disadvantage, you don't get as good view as you would when the patient's standing up and you get a P PA view, a posterior anterior view of the chest. Well, what are the distortions or the disadvantage you get from a portable chest radiograph? Well, usually a patient can't sit completely straight, especially if they're laying flat, they're a little crooked. So we talk about the technique of the x-ray in our very first of this series. And this particular patient, you can see that the left shoulder's a little lower than the right, a little lower, so the patient's kind of kind of crooked this way, a little rotated. You can see the right clavicle here and the left clavicle here. They're not right in the middle. You can see the vertebral bodies coming this way. And you can see that that's not fall right in the middle like, like it should be right in the middle. So the patient's crooked and that causes distortion of these structures. Also, the patient doesn't have a good full inspiration. What do I mean? So when we want to see a good inspiration, we talk about counting the ribs. So you got one, you got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's pretty good, 10, but we talked about you want to see 11. Very good, okay? So it's not a complete inspiration, so that makes uh, less of the lung tissue uh, to be able to see it properly. Also, the exposure is a little harder to manage. Remember the exposure, you need to be able to see the markings of the vertebral bodies here. And yeah, you kind of see them, but probably just a tiny little bit sub-exposed x-ray. The other thing, because of the techniques, because it's an AP, the heart is closer to the x-rays as, as the x-rays are coming through, they hit the heart, but since the patient, so this is the, oh, since this is the chest of the patient, right, like this, you got the heart close to it, the casket is here, the extras are hitting the heart, so you get a little bit of magnification effect, so, so the image actually produces an image of the heart that's bigger than what it really is, so you get a pseudo-cardiomegaly, you get the heart looking bigger than it should. So when we measure the cardiothoracic ratio, we need to accept maybe a little 55% and still not call it cardiomegaly because it's just the way the X-ray was taken. You can use the cardiothoracic ratio as well as you could on a PA X-ray. Also, you get a little bit of a widened mediastinum here. Here's a little motivational quote for you. Everything comes to you in the right moment. That's interesting. Uh, the other thing is this pleural effusions where there's fluid in the lungs here and here. When the patient's sitting upright and vertical, you can more likely see it because the fluid will settle down in the costophrenic angle here. But if the patient is laying down or supine on the bed, then um, that fluid would settle like completely across the chest and it would just look hazy and you'll miss the fact that, well, is it an effusion or not? Uh, or why does it look hazy? Um, so whenever possible, patients should be sitting upright, should have good, deep inspiration, so you can see all the structures better. And then the other thing is when you do uh, portable x-rays, you might get all the things on the x-ray that affect your vision. The main thing here is gonna be this here, which is um, an EKG wire. And sure enough, I mean, you can kind of erase that from your mind and still see the other structure but when you have a wire there another wire here and another wire here and you got a breathing treatment with a, a little tube coming out here and there's a bed board somewhere in there it's just a lot of things that add up and make that interpretation of your x-ray more and more difficult so whenever possible you do want the patient to go formally to the radiologic department get a pa view and not a portable chest x-ray you're just going to see better things the other thing is because you're doing portable you only get 
you only get the AP view. When you send them to the department, you get a PA and a lateral. And that lateral, as we discussed in our last video, has some important structures that you need to look at. Remember, all those things that you would miss, uh, that retrocardiac space, that retrosternal space that needs to be nice and clear. So if you see any densities and stuff, it would be easier to see here than it would be if you don't have it and all you have is this. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and this video series. Please, please comment, like, subscribe. If you want to see more of this, you want to keep me motivated so I can keep doing this um, as often as possible. All right. Take care, guys. Bye bye.